Well, quite a few fans watching these practices here today. They're going to have one last night to get some of this good cooking. Our Matt Reeb has been sampling the local fare here this week, and he tells us a little bit about this Creole cooking in New Orleans. Blake S Sagan? Twice a day, Roll is called in a small shop on St. Louis Street. Is that really your name, Tracy Tracy? No, like School is in session. The New Orleans School of Cooking takes people through a how-to class, how to make Cajun and Creole food, everything from pralines to gumbo. Today's menu, shrimp and artichoke soup, crawfish etouffee, and pina colada bread pudding. About the only thing I don't put in at this point are raspberries and blackberries. All these cultures are part of what makes Louisiana. Louisiana, a real melting pot. As far as I'm concerned, the only real American culture and is the only real American cuisine from the get-go. But this is truly school, an education in New Orleans food and its culture's deep religious beliefs. Where else is Ameriqua known as the Trinity and garlic the Pope? Even garnish is called a blessing, making food and culture here inseparable. But the ultimate goal is for everybody to understand our cultural heritage, pass a good time doing it, and eat some good food. And where else can you really sink your teeth into history? We live to eat. Oh, yeah. We're going to sit down today, and I'm going to discuss half the time where we're going to go to dinner tonight. Something done every day here in the Big Easy. Matt Reeb, 41 Action News. And I've gotten a crash course on some of the cooking down here. I had a beignet so far. Let's see, some fried crawfish, jambalaya, and... Elizabeth Alex's favorite, some blackened gator. I could bring some back for you if you want. It was fantastic. Let I'm me tell you. I'm still waiting on those beignets. You said you were FedExing. I FedExed them. I, I did the three-day FedEx, so just <laughs> it'll be fine, I'm sure. All right. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Lance.